tonight. No, we, you laugh. We have a rare... We have a rare treat for all of you tonight. We're going to... Hey, if you knew what he was doing, we'd be off of the air if you knew what he was doing. We're going to give you a preview of some... I don't know what he's doing. We're going to give you a preview of some of the new toys that will soon be on the market. And here to tell us about the new toys is the man who invents, designs, and is the world's leading manufacturer of toys, Mr. Harley Ganglinger. <laughs> Well, it's sure nice to have you with us, Mr. Ganglinger. Well, it's certainly nice to be here, Mr. Martin. Uh, well, what kind of name is uh, Harvey Ganglinger? Oh, it's Harley, Harley Ganglinger. Harley, I'm sorry. I thought that we went with Davidson. No, no. Uh, that was my first wife. But, uh, don't, don't, don't lean on me there, Mr. Martin. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh... Some of that stain was in my shirt there, but anyway. No, what, uh, the missus, oh, really? The, uh, the missus and I have been married some 36 years. We're both of uh, Norwegian descent. Uh, families used to repair sardine nets. <laughs> we, we never had any children. It was unfortunate, but so we've devoted our lives to making toys and just having a good time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see you have... <laughs> Uh, do you have your toy? I mean, I see you have your toys with you. What, what's the one that you, uh, you're going to have in your... You have a toy with you? Yes. Uh, huh? I don't see no toy in his hand. What do you get? This happens to be a toy hand. Oh! oh. Now, uh, this is, of course, uh, what we do for 35 cents. We give a child something to dip his hand into, dip various colors. This becomes a flower, you see? Isn't that pretty? The little flower closes and opens, and a bee flies into it. <laughs> Spits the little bee out, gives the child something to think about and do. <laughs> then you dip it into something green, maybe, or yellow, and he dips it into a tropical fish tank, and it becomes a dead octopus. <laughs> and these are children looking at the sun. These are all clever toys. <laughs> But we've been working on a lot of them, and... Uh... Do you have any toys based on the space age? Yes, as a matter of fact, we do. We have one that ranges, it's uh, between $17 and $20. We don't know exactly where we're going on that price of that toy. But the toy goes up, it's in the shape of a flying saucer, goes up about 50 feet above the house and disintegrates. But, but if the toy functions properly, the child uh, is ejected safely. <laughs> If not, uh, he meets a lot of new little friends. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, I know Batman toys have been very big with the kids. Do you have anything similar of your own? Like yes, as a matter of fact, we do. We have a little thing called the Fly Lady. And what we do is we have... We take the little child... A Fly Lady? Fly Lady. Fly Lady. And we take... You the... wouldn't call this a... Would you? <laughs> Fly lady, all right. Now, what's this fly lady? First uh, time we developed the toy, Margaret had trouble with that, but at any rate, what we do is take the child's arms and dip the child's arms in starch, in toy starch, and then we fly him right across the yard. It's a wild little single, maybe 15 or 20 feet, come up with a mouthful of grass. <laughs> what are those dolls that you have there? Oh, those these are... little dolls, these are... They talk when you pull oh, the Oh, yes, you bet they do. Now, watch this doll. Beat me, I'm only a toy. <laughs> Wind me up as much as you can, I'm a toy executive. Then I snap. <laughs> Put me down, I have to go. But she went out all the little gun when that toy dog ran out. The guy that made that talks very fast. Oh. Well, there's a cover over the toys. It seems as though something. Moving underneath. Now, what, what is that? It's oh, that up. toy there. That's a Dean Martin toy. You wind it up, it sings and passes out. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well, how do you get your inspiration for inventing these toys? 
Well, my wife and I dress up in baby clothes every weekend and then go to the <laughs> hotel of our choice and talk baby talk. <laughs> we stay there as long as we can until the people start to look in the windows and go, look at them, look at them in there. <laughs> That is fun. And, uh... But there, as I say, toys for children. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have plans now for a toy that you think may be the greatest toy you ever invented? Yes, as a matter of fact, we are working on a toy now, my 36 relatives and a stranger. Uh, <laughs> stranger is our salesman. <laughs> But uh, we're working on a toy. It's a little toy about this high, dressed as a cowboy. And he goes in and comes out of a White House and he says, we will continue to beautify America. Well, when, uh, when you say that, what, what does, what's that mean? You'll see in 1968. Oh, in 68. Mr. Tom! And now, a word about a fine product. 